Hi everyone, so today's uh, makeup tutorial is going to be a very wearable fall makeup look. I'm going to do this look on myself and uh, I love wearing like a berry uh, bambi type of lip for the fall and uh, in order to make it very um, wearable I like to just you know keep the focus on the lip and do just a, a wash of, of color on the eyelid. I'm choosing like a grayish purplish wash of, of color on the eyelid today uh, a little bit glossy and I'm going to show you a very cool product for that the first product I'm using is my primer this Dr. Barbara Storm I love using my primer uh, before I apply foundation a lot of people really don't know how to use a primer so I always say using a primer is the last product after your skincare routine and the first product before makeup. It's a kind of easy way, that way to, to know when to use this product. The foundation I chose for today's look is this Dior Forever Foundation. Now, I think that this foundation doesn't get enough love. It's a beautiful foundation. Uh, for the fall, I usually like to choose a foundation which is a little bit more on the matte side. Um, I just you know, a velvety matte, uh, that kind of finish I think works really well for fall. Um, Alright, so the shade I'm using here is 030. Um, I'm still pretty tan from the summer. Um, I had a lot of vacations this summer, so I got quite a lot of color. So I'm going up a little bit uh, in the shade. Um, and the way how I like to apply this foundation is with a buffing brush. I'm using the Tom Ford a buffing brush and I'm just kind of like going in from the center of my face outwards yeah this is a beautiful color um, this foundation is very long lasting so for you girls out there who like a long lasting foundation this is fantastic and a lot of lo long lasting foundations are usually quite heavy and this just is not heavy at all, which I love. And it's just a beautiful, beautiful foundation, beautiful finish. So I'm going to go right into my brows. And the product I chose for my brows today is another Dior product. It's the Dior Eyebrow Pencil. Now, this is a very universal color. It's a universal brown, and it works for many different eye shapes and eyebrow uh, shapes and colors. So. I just like to go in and do a very kind of, you know, natural brow, but still a little bit defined, especially because um, it is a very kind of sophisticated look. So you want to do a nice, sophisticated brow with this berry lip. So I like to kind of just add a little bit fine little strokes in the inner corner of my brow and I like to also shape it in the middle and give it a bit of an arch and I also need to elongate my brow a bit because I feel like it just needs a little bit more attention on the outer corner. I'm going to also set my brows with this new product here by Benefit. It's a 24 hour brow setter. Um, it's a really nice product. I've played around with it before. Um, it has a really nice brush and if you love a brow gel this is definitely a really really beautiful product and it really sets your brows in place all right so i like to first do my eye makeup and then i'm going to do my concealer so i'm going to go right into uh, the eyeshadow again uh, because i'm doing a berry lip I like to do just a very soft eye. Again, accordingly at home, if you want to do a heavy eye and maybe just a stain on your lip, totally fine too. Um, also, I want to mention I have eyelash extensions at the moment. So, uh, just so you know uh, that you know it looks like I'm already wearing mascara, but there are eyelash extensions. Uh, the product, the first product I'm using is by Fiona Styles, and it's her eyeshadows, I just wish they would get more credit. They're so beautiful. Uh, this is one of my favorite palettes here. This one is called uh, Meyer, I believe, but I'm going to put it in the description box. 
just the shades are so gorgeous. I'm actually just going to use the purplish grayish color here on the right side, upper right side. Um, and with this eye makeup look, I'm not going to do a cut crease or a crease shade. I'm just going to use one color all over my upper eyelid. And I'm using it on a 217 brush. And I'm using that product just kind of like all over, like a wash of color on my upper eyelid. And it's just a really easy, easy, easy application. That's really, you don't need to know a lot about makeup. Like anybody can do that. You really just kind of like buffing it in and, you know, putting it all over your upper eyelid. Don't go up too high. Just kind of like stop, you know, before your crease starts. And then you could also take a clean brush. I don't have another 217, so I'm just going to use a buffing brush and kind of just buff it in even more. I'm also going to bring that same color on the lower lash line. I'm going to use just a smaller dome brush and just kind of start in the outer corner going inwards just to create a little bit of a shadow on the lower lash line. I'm going to use a little bit of a eye pencil. Now again, I don't really want you to see that I'm wearing eye pencil, so this is just a just a way to define your lashes a little bit more, to give a little bit more depth uh, to the lash line and the upper lash line. So this here is a Chanel eye pencil, and it's like a really beautiful kind of like eggplant color. I'm going to put the name in the description box. I'll just use a hand mirror so it's a little bit easier for me to see. But I'm going um, just really close to my lash line just to add a little bit more depth to, to that area. And I'm not going to wing out the line or anything like that. I just want a little bit more color right in there. And I really don't want you to see the line again. So you just kind of like wiggle it in between your lashes. And then you can even take like a dome brush and just kind of like blend it out. Now to create that kind of sheer glossy uh, eye look, um, I have a great product here by Jillian Dempsey. Jillian Dempsey is an amazing celebrity makeup artist here in Los Angeles, and she created these eye tints. They're called eye tints. And uh, they come in, uh, I don't know how many shades, but a few beautiful shades. This one here happened to be my favorite. So these eye tints just have the right amount of glossiness. You know how some eye, um, there, there are products like that out there, but some of them are too glossy, and then sometimes it just messes everything up and, and, and you know those products are great for editorial shoots and things like that but I think that that product is way very wearable like you can really wear it on its own or over eyeshadow so the way how I do it is I'm just gonna like use my finger and I warm it up a little bit in the tint and then I just add that over my um, eye makeup and you just kind of like press it instead of rubbing it in you just kind of like press it into your um, eye makeup and it just gives this beautiful sheen. So the eye tint is on. Uh, the last step to this eye makeup look is mascara. Now I'm wearing extensions and I'm not going to put any mascara on but I'm going to put some mascara on the lower lashes and the oh and also obviously if you like to curl your lashes curl them beforehand and I'm using the roller uh, lash by benefit which is really an amazing mascara I love that and I'm just going to use that on my little matte brush and I'm adding a little bit of mascara on my lower lashes all right, so for my concealer, I chose this Makeup Forever concealer. It's an HD concealer, and you can actually just apply it directly out of the little bullet. You know, I'm just gonna like dot it on a little bit right here. It's really, oops, I think I used a little bit too much on that side. It's really easy to blend. You can use your beauty blender or a buffing brush.
and it gives you really, really good coverage. But it doesn't look cakey, which I like about this concealer. It does not give you like a cakey kind of look. You can see it's so easy to blend. If you don't like the beauty blender, you can also use a buffing brush. I like this one here. This one here is by Sigma. It just really buffs the product really nicely in your under eye area. So with this look, because we do want to have it kind of like matte and velvety, uh, we definitely want to use some powder. Now, I chose a very kind of luxurious powder today. This one here is by Clé de Co. It's a loose powder. It's a beautiful powder. Um, I think it's a really nice powder for like light to medium uh, shade. Uh, it's loose, so, um, you know, a little goes a long way. Um, I also like this powder because it works really well underneath your eye because it's very finely milled so it doesn't really make it look cakey at all. So I'm using um, a Charlotte Tilbury brush kind of all over and then for underneath my eye I'm going to go in with a little bit of a smaller brush. But it's a beautiful, beautiful powder as you can see. It just doesn't really even show up as powder. It just makes everything look matte and not shiny and that's what we want. We don't want the powder to sit on top of your skin. For underneath my eye I'm using this Bobbi Brown little brush. I'm just going to go in right in here to powder a little bit. Now to bring a little bit dimension into my face so it doesn't all look flat and just like one color, I'm going to bring in a little bit of this Bobbi Brown. Bronzer. I like this bronzer because it's matte. As you can see, there's not a lot of shimmer. And this is uh, the color medium two. And I'm just going to use a little bit of a fluffier brush. This one here by Charlotte Tilbury. And I'm not contouring my face. I'm just adding a little bit of dimension and color into my cheek area and in my temple. Same thing on the other side, a little bit in my jaw area to add dimension right in here and you can also go in your hairline on your forehead. Okay, so for blush, I chose a uh, blush by Charlotte Tilbury. This one here is called Cheek, Cheek to Chic, which is a cute name. It's this. So for blush, sometimes I really like to kind of like go monochromatic and match it a little bit with your lip color. And this one has a little bit of a burgundy, kind of richer tone in it. So that's why I chose this blush. Um, also, I don't want it to be, you know, just all about the blush. So I'm just going to use like a more fluffier brush just to kind of like wash the color on my cheeks. And that's why I think like a brush like this here by Wayne Goss is perfect because um, it won't, you know, add too much color. It just kind of like gives you a little bit of a flush look and just a, a very soft kind of like flush look. And this is really kind of like all I want to do, this kind of amount. And, and it's always good to maybe then stop and put on your lip and then see, and then you can always see if you need a little bit more blush after your lip is on. All right, so let's do my lips. Uh, what I have chosen today for my lips is a Charlotte Tilbury product. I love her matte lipsticks. And this one I just think is such a gorgeous, uh, it's called Gladstone Berry. It's one of my favorites. I have this also in my makeup kit. I have it in my personal makeup kit. It's a perfect berry fall color for me. And again, I love choosing uh, when I do a darker, vampier lip color. I love it to be matte. I just think it's a more um, approachable look. It's more modern. It's more chic. I would never really do like a glossy, you know, uh, berry lip. I just think it's too much. So um, you should also do a lip liner with a berry because I feel like sometimes the color bleeds out of your lip and you definitely want to kind of like 
use a liner with that. Uh, a, a lot of times in the fall, your lips tend to be more cha uh, chapped. So if you do have chapped lips, maybe use um, a lip scrub beforehand or a little bit of a lip balm. Uh, I used a little bit of a lip balm earlier, so I'm going to just go um, right into applying my lipstick. Uh, first do the lipstick and then the lip liner. So I'm just going to add this color. And then I'm going to use uh, my lip brush. I don't overdraw my lip, but I just like to really kind of accentuate the bow in the front. All right, so this is the finished look. Now, if this lip color is too um, matte for you or you feel like it's too heavy for you, um, I wanna show you a few other options. This one is one of my favorites, it's by Kosas. It's a beautiful lipstick line. I'm gonna link the color below. Um, it's just a beautiful berry. And the other one is a newer formulation by Hourglass and it's also a beautiful berry color. I'm gonna also link the color below. And the reasons <clears throat> why I showed these two lipsticks is because the formulation is a little bit lighter. It's not as heavy as this. It's not that this is heavy, but it's just not as matte and it gives a little bit more, it's just a little bit more of a sheen in them. And um, you can make them look more like a stain or like very sheer looking. So with this look, again, you can just really play around with it and make it, uh, make it your own look and just kind of like take, take ideas from whatever I've just shown you. And then again, you can, if you are more into doing your eyes, then maybe make your eyes a little bit heavier and use more of a stain on your lip or vice versa. So I hope that you like this fall look. Um, I love fall. It's such a great time of the year and that's really when I like to wear a little bit more makeup. And I hope that this uh, was inspiring to you to maybe wear more of a berry shade on your lips. And uh, thanks for watching and give me some thumbs up and uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and I see you very soon. Thank you.